Welcome to my video series on how to download and install Ubuntu. In this first video, I'm going to tell you what Ubuntu is, why you should consider installing it, and how to find out whether your system can run Ubuntu. At the end of this video, you'll be able to select the method that you would like to use to install Ubuntu. If you already know that your system can run Ubuntu, then feel free to skip to the selection screen now by clicking the annotation in the top left of this video. However, if you don't know what Ubuntu is, or you see no reason to install Ubuntu, please keep watching. I'm going to start off with a simple definition of an operating system. An operating system is what makes your computer work. The core program of any computer is designed to run all your programs and manage all your hardware and software. Other examples of operating systems include Microsoft Windows, Macintosh OS X, and Android. So Ubuntu is a free, open source operating system. A major update is released every six months for absolutely free, so there's always something new to look forward to. There are several reasons why you should install Ubuntu. It is secure, fast, accessible, and compatible with many devices. You can surf in safety with Ubuntu, confident that your files and data will stay protected. A built-in firewall and virus protection come as standard, and if a potential threat appears, Ubuntu provides automatic updates which you can install in a single click. You get added security with App Armor, which protects your important applications so attackers can't access your system. Ubuntu helps you keep your private information private, so whether it's accessing your bank account or sharing sensitive data with friends or colleagues, you'll have peace of mind when you need it the most. Ubuntu loads quickly on any computer, but naturally, it's even faster on newer machines. With no unnecessary programs and trial software slowing things down, like on many other operating systems, booting up and opening a browser takes very little time at all. Ubuntu won't grow sluggish over time. It's fast, and it generally stays that way. Accessibility is definitely central to the Ubuntu philosophy. Ubuntu has been fully translated into 25 different languages, and it also includes essential assistive technologies, which are completely free, just like the rest of the operating system and its features. Ubuntu also works brilliantly with a wide range of devices. With most devices, like MP3 players, cameras and printers, you can simply plug in the device and it will be up and running straight away without using any installation CDs. In addition, it's compatible with some Windows programs too. For instance, you can open, edit and share Microsoft Office documents very easily in the built-in Office suite in Ubuntu. These are all of the main types of software that are built into Ubuntu by default. Web browsing, office applications, social and email, music and mobile, photos and videos, the Ubuntu Software Center, and Ubuntu One. More information on all of these topics can be found on Ubuntu's official website at ubuntu.com. The exact URL to these topics is in the description box below. Finally, Ubuntu can be installed alongside any of the operating systems that you currently have installed, including Windows, so you can install Ubuntu completely risk-free. If you don't like it, you can simply go back to your previous operating system and uninstall Ubuntu altogether. Now before I show you how to download Ubuntu using your chosen method, I'm going to show you the recommended system requirements for Ubuntu 11.04. I've made this table of the minimum system requirements for Ubuntu. If there's been a major update of Ubuntu since this video was uploaded, then it may be worth checking their official website in case the requirements have changed, although they are unlikely to have changed that much. As you can see from the table, the system requirements for Ubuntu are quite reasonable. If you're not sure whether your system can run Ubuntu successfully, then presuming that you're using Windows at the moment, open the Start menu, right-click Computer, and then select Properties. In this window, you can see your processor's frequency here, and the amount of RAM, random access memory, that you have here. So compare that to the table, and if you have higher numbers, then you meet the minimum system requirements for your processor and memory. Some of you may be wondering what an x86 processor actually is. x86 is the name of a processor instruction set, or collection of operations that a processor is able to perform. These instructions include mathematics and logic calculations, among other types of tasks. Nearly every processor in use today maintains compatibility with the x86 instruction set, so you are very likely to meet this processor requirement. Now to find out how much hard disk space you have available, go to the start menu again, 
and this time simply left click computer. Then left click the hard disk that you're going to install Ubuntu on and then right click that same hard disk and select properties from this drop down menu. You can then view your free space here. Don't forget that if you plan to have a lot of extra programs and files you may need more disk space. Once again compare this value to the table. Finally to find out whether you have the optimal resolution or higher right click anywhere on your desktop and then select screen resolution from this menu. If you only have one monitor it will already be selected but if you have more than one select your primary monitor up here which used to be in the center or on the left. With your primary monitor selected drop down the box next to resolution just here and see whether you have 1024 by 768 as you can see mine is down here and I also have many high resolutions above that so I definitely meet the minimum requirements for Ubuntu 11.04 as a side note internet access during the Ubuntu installation is also helpful but not essential ok so once you've checked that your system has higher hardware properties than the figures shown in the table we can move on to downloading the software with your chosen method. Please choose the method that you want to use to install Ubuntu by pressing one of the buttons. Ubuntu will work on any desktop, laptop or netbook computer as long as it meets the minimum system requirements. In the unlikely event that your computer doesn't have either a CD drive or USB port, you can use the Windows installer to install Ubuntu, but only if you currently have Windows installed. Although in theory this is the easiest way, it does take the longest amount of time in comparison to using a CD or USB. Therefore, if you have a CD drive and or a USB port on your computer, I would urge you to use one of those methods instead.